What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Want to thank my sponsor Steel Supplements. I would normally tell you there's a link in a discount code down in the description, but instead I'm going to let you know their Black Friday sale is here. You can use that link, get free shipping, free products, whether you want to give somebody a gift to get back in shape for the holidays or stock up on your favorite products before summer gets here. You have the opportunity to do it today. Also, I'm a preferred Weibo influencer. Best promotion, hundreds of you, literally hundreds of you over the past two months have taken advantage of it. All you have to do, click the link, open an account. They're going to give you free fractional shares. If you deposit even a single dollar, they are going to give you free stock. And now here is a video I never thought that I would be able to do. And before people push back on this video and say that it doesn't matter, it doesn't change anything, it's fine that EA does these things and has these partnerships, let me remind you of a couple things. Number one, this was to be the year that the game was dedicated to the legacy of the late John Madden, which means everything EA does should have a focal point point of simulating NFL football. They're the only game in the marketplace that can do it. We're still seeing the fact that they can't get things updated the way that they should. Patches don't function the way that they should, and the game still does not operate as it was sold to us. So even if just one single EA employee took any part of of this prog process and helped design this movie, that is one too many. Number two, let me remind you, Madden is making most of its money off Madden Ultimate Team. That is why they give this game away for free. Madden Ultimate Team is a microtransaction aspect of this game that encourages players to buy packs, to get better teams, to play shortened segments of its game because we all know playing this game for a long duration or even a full game subjects you to a number of issues, glitches, bugs, and exploits that make the game generally unplayable. So with that in mind, this movie is designed to have a daughter rejuvenate her father's career as an NFL running back by playing as him through Madden on Sunday. Now, you would imagine this does have its own comical undertones where the most realistic part of the movie is the NFL player throws Madden out of his car and doesn't want it brought into his house. Congratulations, someone finally realized what should happen when an NFL player encounters this horrible football game. But... The copy actually gets magical powers and allows her to control her father. Not unlike the magical copy of Madden people said I had for years that just showed the game being absolutely the worst video game of all time. Now, when the game is used, it does actually reference some of the exploits this game has, which I find comical, being as a player runs directly into the wall. Now, I understand to some people in the form of a movie this would be funny, the player runs into the wall and the thought process is the daughter is controlling him to do this, but anyone that's played the game realizes this is is basically them just throwing a bug in the game that's been there for the last 10 years directly in our face. Because even though we were sold and promised living worlds and living sidelines, players have never been able to tell where they are, who they are, or what else is on the sideline, which means they run directly through or into things all of the time. The fact that EA is comfortable letting someone showcase this as a joke when it literally happens in a product they sell to simulate football should tell you really all you need to know how much they really care about the feedback this community gives them trying to make their game just a little bit better and more immersive as a product. From there, you can see that they have screenshots of player customization, which we have asked for for years to be improved. It's one of the most lackluster aspects of this game, and literally almost any game on the market from a sports title perspective does player customization better than EA Sports. Ironically enough, if we're talking about replicating someone's face in the game, EA used to give us the capacity to scan our own faces into the game so that we could have the most realistic looking player. They've since done away with this for seemingly no reason, even though consoles have gotten more and more powerful just because it follows the mantra of EA loves to take things out of its game so they can rebrand it and sell it back in. This is also going to be sold to children, and that's where I realized some people were going to push back and say it's okay that they make Madden into a movie or that they use Madden as kind of a character in a movie, and this is just a fun, lighthearted game that could actually be used for any type of movie, or likewise, you could use any type of game to create this movie. You could do it with MLB The Show, you could do it with FIFA, you could do it with a racing game. The fact, though, that they chose Madden to me shows they really want to ensure children get involved in this game. I'm sure there will be huge promotions involving this movie with free game codes. Those free game codes directly push children into Madden Ultimate Team, which is a pay-to-play microtransaction-based game that no matter how much people argue or say isn't, 
forces gamers shortened gaming experiences so that they don't spend the full amount of time with this game. Because most of us realize if you play this game for multiple seasons, multiple games, you will see how boring, repetitious, stale, and in many ways broken the game is if it even lets you continue your franchise after three to four seasons. After that, you'll see teams that can't build properly, sign quarterbacks they don't need, draft players they have no use for, and overall not manage their players or cap in any capacity. So when you look at Madden Ultimate Team, the push has always been to get its players in there. Madden Ultimate Team provides them two things they desperately need you to have. Number one, a very short time with the game. Here's a challenge for you to beat. Here's an objective. Here's busy work for you to do. But also encourage you to make those tasks easier by either playing the game mind-numbing amounts or simply spending a little bit of money to get a better player so that you can make all these remedial tasks that much easier. And apart from one year, all the progress and all the work you spend, all the money it takes to make these players great, don't even carry over into the next product. So you will literally spend as much as you can in one year, only to have it mean nothing when it carries over to the next. So when you look at them simply at face value, making a movie with a video game, I agree. It's not the worst thing that EA can do. But when you look at the state of this game, and you have to understand, for years, us as consumers have done nothing but make this game one of the worst rated games in video game history. This game has had hashtags trending multiple times for how bad it is. This game doesn't belong in any other aspect than a development cycle that is focused solely on getting the game better. This year, it's probably worse than it's ever been because not only have we seen most of the bugs from last year despite the promise of polishing it more than ever came through and did not reach the final product you have people that can't even play the game the way they want to play the game because of constant crashing and bugs they're putting out a patch last week that doesn't even fix some of these problems for all users and rather than sit there and devote their time to the customer or the people that actually pre-ordered this game clearly ea is more focused about how they can showcase this game to children by making it part of a movie and it really shouldn't be that way this game needs to be completely overhauled the people that have been working on this game need to seriously sit down and explain to someone what they've been doing to earn their paycheck and more importantly what they plan on doing to continue to earn their paycheck by putting out a better game this game is ultimately going to lose the NFL license at some point or simply become a copy and paste for a college football game that no one will want because so many people have begged for a better experience from EA for years. The last thing we want is another port of this terrible football game. But in the interim, EA wants to make sure they make their game look as good as possible by making it the center point of an movie that is going to be on Paramount Plus and hopefully that movie will be better than Madden because at this point that won't take much for any product to surpass one of the worst games any of us has ever played. Love to know your thoughts on this, appreciate you watching this video and you know when this game is so bad but they're still trying to make a movie out of it there is no way I will not be back in the week with more commentary.